What's up, JFusion fans? This is Vilt, and welcome back to another video. So, Kamen Rider Gap Episode 5. So, we are learning a lot about Shoma in this episode. So, uh, picking up from Episode 4, so he decides to leave uh, the elderly couple that, uh, you know, uh, took care of him for a little bit for a very specific reason. So, of course, again, uh, Shoma ends up homeless again, and he is found by a grand youth. Now, before I continue on, so I am going to talk about episode 5 in as much detail as I can without spoiling everything. But because I am going to talk about, you know, very specific details about this episode, so... I think it's uh, fair to say that there will be some spoilers ahead. So anyways, let me continue with the summary of this episode. So like I said earlier, Shoma, who is uh, homeless again, uh, is found by another granute. But this granute isn't your typical run-of-the-mill granute with, you know, the gav on their stomach. He is found by dente stomach. Another member of the stomach family, apparently, who for some reason decides to stay in the human world. Now, he does explain it uh, in the episode, but you guys, uh, for, for you guys, I'm going to leave it to you uh, to learn why he decided to stay in the human world. So, apparently, so, like I said, he is uh, a member of the Grand Newt family. So, which member of the Grand Newt family? So... Basically, he is Shoma's grandfather's younger brother. So, basically, a grand-uncle, or as Gravity Falls would call him, a gruncle. So, you know what? Uh, let's use the word gruncle in this uh, video. So, um, gruncle Dente so picks up Shoma, and he does recognize his uh, grand-nephew. So, he takes him in, you know... Uh, basically uh waits for shoma to recover and gives him a bag of spicy potato chips so now let me explain the reason why uh, uh so i guess i i didn't mention and i wouldn't explain but anyways so uh in regards with regards to shoma so he actually knew about shoma's special gav so in a flashback, we also see Shoma's father. So we now see what Shoma's father looks like, albeit in his grand new form. So if I uh, remember correctly, his name is Bush Stomach. So correct me if I'm wrong. So you can check uh, writer, the writer wiki probably once it's updated. But nonetheless, we meet his father in this episode. So we finally see who Shoma's dad is. Finally, unlike uh, Gotchard. So, anyways, so in a flashback, uh, so Shoma's dad asks uh, Dente to do something for Shoma so he could be stronger. Now, granted that Shoma is half human, so I guess for him to survive in the Grand Newt world, probably. So. What happened is, so this is going to be a big spoiler, I guess. So, what happened is Dente per proceeds to perform an operation, uh, some sort of surgery on Shoma to basically make his gav more powerful. So, basically, Shoma is your more classic common Rider. So, yeah. Uh, but... Knowing that uh, his uncle again, um, so what? What's interesting about Dente is, well, he did perform an, uh, you know, a surgery on Shoma that basically allows him to become common Rider Gav, albeit Dente himself didn't know how to handle things, considering. Uh, Shoma's half-human heritage, so he really didn't know how to go about the human side of things. But, 
uh, apparently it was Shoma, you know, consuming snacks that allowed him to produce the gochizos that allow him to transform into Kamen Rider Gav. So that's basically what Dente did. So it also turns out that maybe ironically, Dente was also the one responsible for creating the system that allows the granutes to turn humans into their miniature size acrylic statues. So he's also responsible for that. But considering, again, the more classic Kamen Rider trope, so the main character, the main protagonist, gets his powers from the villain's side. Again, it does make sense. You know, if we apply the more classic Kamen Rider logic to, uh, or the more classic Kamen Rider trope, rather, in this situation, so Dente is responsible for making King bad stuff but he also in, in I guess in a way he also creates the hero of the story so very interesting now of course Shoma uh, runs away from his uh, grunkle and you know goes back to uh, wandering around so Shoma from his, his previous experience in uh, episode 4 he decides to you know, not help people, or he was considering that, rather. So, realizing that making people happy makes them a target for the granutes because they target happy people. So, the happier you are, the more likely you're going to get targeted by the granute. And once you turn into your acrylic form, apparently you make a tastier snack. So, uh, we'll get to that in a future video, I guess. So, Shoma, upon like considering this, actually sees a mother and child. So, uh, probably reminding him of his own mother. So, he tries to help, you know, this uh, small, this family and realizes, you know what, I do want to make people happy. And it's the bad guys that really should be stopped. Like, m making happy, m making people happy is good. The bad guys are bad. Instead of not making people happy to protect them from, you know, the bad guys, I'm just going to make people happy and just focus on beating up the bad guys if necessary. So he realizes that very soon. And I think... That's the perfect logic, you know? So, again, uh, it's really amazing writing. Instead of Shoma, well, rather, I, I wouldn't say it's rather a dark path, but it's definitely going to be a sad and lonely one for him, right? In You know, in order to protect people, like, he would, he was considering not helping people, you know? It sounds weird, confusing, and maybe ironic in a way, but he realizes that he can make people happy. He just has to stop the bad guys from getting to the happy people, you know? So he has the power to do so now as Kamen Rider Gab. So again, this would mark the debut of the Hiri Hiri Chips uh, assist for the Zaku Zaku Chips form. So... Let's go to uh, Hanto for a bit. So, of course, we already know that he's going to turn into Kamen Rider Valen. Not yet in this episode, though. But, so, he finally meets Gav for the first time. So, we don't. he doesn't know Shoma is Gav yet. N not yet. But, he realizes that Shoma, even though he is technically a monster... He sees Shoma fighting to protect people. And I guess uh, it's become kind of a meme recently. But it's also like a like it's also become like a famous line for Hanto. 
He's not a monster. He's a common writer. So even Hanto realizes that not all Grand Newts are bad. At least Shoma isn't bad anyway. So he decides to, you know, help out Shoma. While on the other side of things, so uh, Professor Suga uh, is already working on the Valen Buster. So yes, it is confirmed that uh, uh, this Professor Suga is indeed the one who is going to give uh, Hanto his ability to transform into Kamen Rider Valen pretty soon. So again, there's a lot of character development that I really like in this episode, especially with the two main writers. So after... Uh, you know, uh, defeating the agents and uh, freeing the people that have been almost turned into snacks. So, Shoma actually decides to return to Happy Pare himself. So, again, if you remember at the end of episode 2, you know, with the same logic that he had in episode 4, so Shoma decided to uh, stay away from uh, Sachika to protect her or to prevent her from being involved in this uh, mess. But nonetheless, he does decide to come back to uh, Sachika. So, having the same goals as her, so that's the reason, that's his motivation for going back to Happy Pare, which again is really nice and it is. Uh, you know, it establishes, you know, the, like, the bond that eventually, like, all three main characters would have uh, along the way. So, uh, again, really, really nice episode. So, I wouldn't say that there are, like, so many twists uh, in that regard. I, I wouldn't really think of uh, episode 5 as having, like, twists and turns. It is more of, like, exposition and building up the story allowing us to understand more about Shoma and you know how his powers actually came about how they work and we learn about his family so we do learn a lot of, about Shoma and well even Hunter even even though he's not really focused on in this episode like again that moment where he realizes that Shoma is a hero so that has you know made him an important part of this episode I would say so again uh, not so heavy on the plot twists and reveals well there are things that are you know there are things revealed in this episode but again it's more of an exposition thing instead of like making them as a surprise like like at maybe later on in the show so i do like that we get to learn things early on so because it could help us you know maybe uh, expect what it, it could allow us to expect what could happen in the future you know, said again, it's a nice setup to the story. Like these first few episodes, like uh, they they're really spending. Toei's really been spending the first few episodes trying to build up, you know, the characters, their motivations. Like, uh, of course, especially Shoma and Hanto, why they're fighting. So, what is the goal of the enemy as well? So we learn a lot. In these early episodes and i think episode 5 is such a solid and well-written episode in my opinion that i'm gonna give it a 5 out of 5. again it's not too heavy on uh like action it's not too heavy on the plot twists and such it's just a solid story and that's okay so yeah i really enjoyed common writer gavin that regard so let me know what you guys think of Kamen Rider Gap Episode 5, of course, uh, once you've seen it already. So anyways, if you have, let me know what you think down in the comment section. 
So, anyways, as always, thank you so much for watching. This has been Philip. Please remember to press like, uh, share, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment. <laughs> so, <laughs> let me uh, do that again. But, anyways, so oh, please do leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and don't forget that notification bell so you get the latest from J Fusion. This has been Philip, and I'll see you next time. Bye.